Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. I will show you a tag today and I used this uh, heavy watercolor paper and cut a tag out of that. Um, this is just so I use here randomly, thicker and thinner and because I wanted to, and I wanted to keep it uh, quite wet because I used this uh, Dine Reveille stencil here with my Prussian blue hue from Winsor & Newton and put it on and I wanted to have it lighter and darker, so that's why I kept the gesso underneath wet to blend it or mix it together with the blue. And I used my fingers because I really wanted to have it very, very uneven, you know, th areas where I have um, a thicker layer and thinner layer. So that's it. I left it to dry almost, not completely that I could blend it out with the baby wipe, but keep this pattern. So, and to secure the whole stuff, I put some liquid gel medium on top and let that dry. So whatever now happens, I could work with the baby wipe to remove stuff, um, yeah, without um, touching the, the background, you know. So I, I wasn't sure what to do. So this is um, a stencil I made from, um, a die cut. This is one of uh, Tim Holt's mixed media die cuts. Really like that one. And uh, I put some random patterns on top of that tag. And I will remove some from the stuff on the bottom because it looked too neat. Yeah, I didn't like that. I wanted to have it more, yeah, random look. So that's why I removed some stuff here. It, uh, I like to have it look more messy, much nicer. So and that's a little bit on the right bottom I want to have. And that's it. This is um, embossing paste. It calls, um, it's from whatever, Dream Dreamweaver is it the name? I can't remember. It's, I have it for ages. Never use it, so I thought go for it here. So this is a plastic mesh I have. It's from a DIY store and that's for drywall work. So it is a, a blue plastic thing and I uh, what I do here, I put a coat on with black gesso and on after that dry on top of that white gesso because um, I always get the impression when I, if I do it in that way it will cover much better and it will yeah give the paint you put on top of that more yeah, it's it's more yeah, it's it's more powerful because this this paint I use here on top it's my my favorite pink this opera pink I use from Winsor Newton and um, that's a uh, semi opaque it's half translucent <laughs> whatever you would call it and I put two layers on top and I think it covers so much better with uh, what I do before on on top of that mesh so uh, i wanted to have a really strong contrast uh, with the colors that's why i use the pink here and of course it is a valentine's tag so i needed a bit of pink and red that's why i go here for the pink mesh these are um yeah seal things what do you call that thing it's not wax i got it it's, it's sort of plastic but it looks like a wax seal thing for letters, letter sealing. I don't know what you call it. Um, it's from uh, Paper Chase. And uh, I just so um, I didn't like the red. Of course, you would think, oh, you're putting red again on top. Of course, but it's a different red. I didn't like the red, what was on there. It was so wishy-washy, you know. And I use carmine here, and I like that, like that red so much better. With the green, I... I, I put something green on top and I wasn't sure about green or red. I wanted to try and find out what looks nicer to me. That's why I put one on in, in green and now I will have a look. But I like the red so much better. That's why, yeah, it look, to me it looks so much better. Could have left one green, haha. <laughs> no. So, and that's why I decide to have red ones on top. So I put here only the, the red paint, so that's why this is slightly darker, but you will you can't tell when you don't know, you won't see that. So now assembling everything, 
I uh, glue it down here with my Eileen's tacky glue and um, that glues quite good for stuff like that and on top of that I will glue this um, sealer things whatever they are having um, adhesive on the reverse and it that's very strong so I didn't need to glue it down with uh, that glue and they have this heart in the middle I don't know if you saw that before uh, I use um, gel pen in red to go over this heart that's one of my new gel pens they are well, cold hybrid because um, they are from are they from are uh, they are from Pentel yeah, um, they are behaving different on, on black or on, on white background, so it's quite nice. So you uh, can see here this this wooden wooden um, veneer wood veneer laugh. I got that from Mika. Thank you, Mika, again. And uh, I did the same with the red. I didn't like the red, so <laughs> I put the same um, red. That I put on to the hearts on it and of course it should match the red hearts or the ceiling things so try to position it wasn't sure where but um, yeah it's better there so I glue it down and um, I only put a bit of white lines on it outside lines and that's it so on, on the hearts you can see in the, in the close-up that this uh, the white Posca stuff picks up on that um, um, yeah gel pen. It, it looks quite nice because it changed slightly the the color. It's, it's more pinky than light pink than than it is um, white. So that's it. You can see it here. That's a close-up. So that's my Valentine's uh, tag. And I will make a card out of that for my Valentine's. So <laughs> that's it. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it. And I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So have a fantastic time, guys. Pictures are coming up now. Bye-bye.